Yeah, I'd just uh, like to thank everybody for coming today. Uh, obviously, the bridesmaids, the new ushers, and Dave for being the best man. It's been a sterling job. Obviously, I'd like to thank uh, Brian and I, and my mum and dad. Uh, without them, it wouldn't have happened today. It wouldn't have been I'd just like to thank Emma for uh, looking stunning today. I'm tired enough. Instead of a usual self. Thank you for organising everything that's happened today. So thank you, Emma, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, did you get the mic here? <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gents. Whoa. 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 I've done an absolutely fantastic job today. So, round of applause. Thank you. The ladies were only outshone by Emma, the beautiful bride. So, I must say, it looks absolutely amazing today. Yeah. Well, I know how much it goes to Emma and Stephen to, uh, to have so many friends and family here today, especially those who have uh, travelled such a long way to be here. I've got to say, it just goes to show the length some people will go to for a free meal. <laughs> I also want to just quickly mention the parents of both the bride and groom for all the help and support and to everybody else involved in making today such a memorable one. And most of all, I mustn't forget the biggest thank you has got to go to Stephen for finally admitting, after all those years, that I am indeed the best man. <laughs> I was really honoured when Stephen asked me to be best man, but to say I'm nervous about delivering this speech is a bit of an understatement. This is about the fourth time today I've got up from a warm seat with sheets of paper in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> now, all the years I spent growing up with Stephen has played um, a big part in developing my sense of humour. So while I tried to make this speech funny, it is fault if it's not. <laughs> They uh, say so the best man's speech is supposed to be the worst five minutes of the groom's day, while the worst five minutes of the bride's will probably come later on tonight. <laughs> and while writing this speech, Stephen did warn me that I must keep it clean and stay away from the usual sexual innuendos. I reassured him that if there was anything a little risque in it, I'd whip it out immediately. <laughs> he also made me promise not to divulge any details from the stag weekend in Prague. <laughs> Besides the fact he still owes me 40 quid for the last two dances he had there, so I've <laughs> I've got loads of fun memories of growing up with Stephen over the years. I've been his partner in crime on many occasions, and in quiet times a sympathetic ear, to whom he could tell almost anything. He's also provided me with some of the best laughs I've ever had. I can remember the time many years ago when me and Stephen went ice skating with our mates. While skating round on the ice, he might en ended up slipping, doing the split, which resulted in him tearing a huge hole in his jeans from front to back. <laughs> Leaving him on the floor with his nuts on show for everyone to see. The best of it was, though, he had to end up shuffling all the way home, cupping his balls in his hands, to hold his shine. <laughs> then there was the time not so long back when Stephen came home one night from the pub rather drunk. He took himself off to bed, only to get up a few hours later, needing the toilet. Unfortunately for me, he managed to get lost on the way, which ended up with him staggering into my room and peeing all up the side of my bed. <laughs> so just a word of warning for anyone who's got a room here tonight. <laughs>
Well, I'll just carry on telling you embarrassing stories about Stephen or not, but I don't really fancy getting a slap off him like that, so I won't. I'll load it up. Now, as you know, we're all here to celebrate the future, which Emma and Stephen are here to share together, starting with the honeymoon, which I know they're both really looking forward to. Stephen told me that they're not going on the proper honeymoon until October. So the two of them in the meantime have decided to have a nice little week away down in Cornwall. I know Stephen's quite keen on trying some of the local dishes while he's there. So he keeps going on about getting his pork inside him when he gets there. <laughs> but he meant for that. <laughs> on a more serious note, I just wanted to say how lucky you are, Stephen. You'll be leaving here today having gained a wife that is warm, loving, caring and funner. And how lucky you are, Emma. You'll be leaving here today having gained a gorgeous dress and a bouquet of flowers. Now, as brave as I am your brother, and given the fact I've been married myself for nearly ten years, I thought it only right I offer a bit of advice for the future. So firstly, you need to set the ground rules, decide who's boss, and then do everything she says. <laughs> Next, take note that a happy marriage is a matter of give and take. The husband gives and the wife takes. <laughs> And finally, the best way to remember your anniversary, trust me on this one, is to forget it once. <laughs> but joking aside, I can't believe how much Stephen has changed since meeting Emma. He now does the cleaning around the house, the shopping, and even enjoys doing the cooking. But to be fair, I've always known he was a master baker. <laughs> In all seriousness, it's impossible to summarise the last 30 odd years I've known Steve. But I would like to say that over those years he's been the best that anyone could hope for in a brother. Good. And I know that Stephen will maintain these high standards as a loving husband to Emma. Whom I'm extremely pleased to welcome into our family. Yeah. I know everyone agrees you make a great couple and it's been a real honour to be a part of this celebration of your clear love for each other. To the lazy gents, it gives me great pleasure, not to mention relief, to invite you all to stand and fill your glasses for a toast to Stephen and Emma. <laughs> we wish them well for the future and hope they enjoy a long and happy marriage. Ladies and gents, I give you the new Mr and Mrs Moran. <laughs> <laughs> 